Brian, I'm back. Now, I know it's been a while. It's been about a month since I've actually posted a video, and to be honest, not much has been happening, really, but today I'm back, and I'm going to be doing one of my favorite videos that I've ever filmed on my channel. Now, a while back, I think it was about nearly a year ago at this point, I made a video where I went up the creek overnight, made a survival shelter, caught some food, cooked it up on a fire, and that was actually one of my most liked videos on my channel, so I decided to come back down and do it again, this time in a different location. I'm not doing it at a creek or anything, but but the funny thing about this location is about five minutes ago I heard a pack of wild dogs barking and howling and carrying on just down that way. Now I've been down here a few times at night and I've seen them coming through this area. So there's two types of wild dogs that live in this area. One's the dingo. Now that's a native species that lives in this area. Now they're totally okay. They'll sometimes come into your camp, sniff around, see what food you've got and stuff. But what I'm worried about is the big wild dogs. Now they could be anything from pit bulls, great danes, german shepherds, pretty much whatever a dog has been crossbred up here form a pack and they literally eat anything often what they'll do is they'll chase down a kangaroo or something and get it up into a bush like this kind of thing and when the kangaroo is stuck up in there exhausted from running and everything they'll eat it alive so yeah they're not very nice and that's why we're going to be making an off the ground shelter today and this is what I'm going to be using to make my shelter so I've got five lengths of rope, one big one to actually just tie the shelter up off the ground, and a few little ones just to secure everything up, make sure that it doesn't fall when a wild dog's running through the area or anything. And I've got an ax to cut down some bamboo. That's primarily what I'm gonna be using to make the shelter, pieces of bamboo. And last but not least, I got a knife. So that's gonna be used to cut up all the rope. We need to start getting the shelter because it's starting to get dark at the moment. So yeah, let's get this thing ready and Bob Zero is still. All right, so one of the things you have to be careful about when using weapons like axes and stuff to cut down trees is that you don't stand up and do it. Often what will happen is saying you're cutting a piece of wood like this, you go to cut it, miss it, it'll go right into your foot. So that's obviously why I wore the work boots today. But what you need to do is you get down and then cut it and even if you miss, it'll just go straight into the ground and you don't have to worry about it. But literally, these crocs are so good. A while back, I was about to go to Fraser Island on a fishing trip and I was in the shallows looking around at night with a big spotlight looking for squid, stingrays and whatever and I accidentally stood on a stingray, probably about that big, and it shot its barb into my foot. But the thing was, the croc stopped it. Like, it went right in there. The croc fully stopped it. They're like, the perfect shoe. That got way off topic. I started talking about axes and I ended up talking about stingrays and crocs. So pretty much the idea for the hut is to get two pieces like this around the same height, lay them down a bit like this, get two more pieces on each side, secure it all up, and then just lay planks down. All right, so this is where the rope comes in. Now we've got our lengths, that's all we need. To kind of have a base like that, lay sticks over the top of it. So what I think we'll do now is secure these ends up. I can do many things, but untangling rope isn't one of them. So pretty much what we're gonna do is just lash it all together. Can't wait for the people to come in. That's not primitive, it's a piece of rope. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing says primitive like a piece of rope, but apart from the rope, it's all primitive. And the knife, and the ax, but besides all that, yeah, it's primitive. Did you hear that? Bigfoot. All right, and to finish it off, just a granny knot. And then we're gonna do that to the four corners. Alright, so as you can see, I just made this frame here. Now that's going to be perfect to lie on later. Now, in the meanwhile, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start tying pieces of bamboo at cut certain lengths along here, and then I'm going to get some trees, maybe some plantation like this, and lay it on top for bedding. Yeah, so what I reckon I need to do is get this bamboo here and start cutting it up.
Right, so I'm gonna space them out and see how many more I need. Starting to look pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's right, it's right. Now I'm gonna secure up all these with rope. very comfortable but it's all right I think I'll um, put leaves on it or something and make it a bit better because I don't think I'd fall asleep like this that's for sure but yeah we did it that was a really creepy we did it all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw a rock up over that just to get the rope up over it and yeah, so what we need to do first is tie the rock on. Now, this is what I use a lot if I want to make rope swings into creeks and dams and everything. So you just tie it on, just like that. And then, you throw it up over. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that rope, tie it onto one corner, and do the same, and then... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Lift it up, I guess. Now we're just gonna do the same rock trick. Well, that didn't work. There we go. It's pretty good. <laughs> I didn't even know what I'm saying. I like, haven't eaten anything all day. It's literally like six foot tall. But take a look at that. Oh, that's so good. I don't know what to say. I'm hungry. I feel like this is going to end so badly. With me in tears crying because my heart broke. Oh. oh no. The stick broke. The stick broke. For anyone wondering. No, it's not broken, it just slipped. I wanted it to do that. Got the ferns. Right, so now we're just gonna lay our ferns down. So that's my bed for tonight. It actually doesn't look too bad. All right, so I just got finished making this shelter. Now, it's pretty good. It's about five foot off the ground and then about four foot off the ground once I actually lay on it. It goes down about a foot because of this tree. I thought the tree snapped before, but it was just another branch snapping, so that's all right. But what we're gonna do now, it's starting to get dark at the moment. The wild dogs should be coming out soon. So yeah, we don't wanna be around here when they come out. So I'm gonna make a fire here so I can stay warm tonight and hopefully my hut doesn't catch on fire because that wouldn't be too good. I, I'm saying it's getting it's getting dark and we need to get a fire, but I'm just standing here looking for koalas. Alright, so as you might be able to tell, it's that time again. The sun's gone down, it's starting to get dark. This is when the wild dogs will be coming out. But to be honest, I'm not really worried about them at the moment. Half the fire footage and making the spear and collecting the tinder for the trees and the mandarins and everything, I just realised that I didn't have my mic on for any of it, so I got no audio, so it's gonna be fun to edit, I guess. I'm gonna get up into bed at the moment, try to get an early night's sleep. I'm really tired after making this whole hut throughout the day and everything. So yeah, let's get up in there. That's cool. But, um, yeah, it looks pretty good. First off, came down to the yard and we decided to make a hut, so at the beginning of the day, I was like, I don't know what we're really gonna make. And then I drew up an idea and I was like, you know what, that'd actually be pretty cool. So then what I did is I put it into action. I got some rope, some axes and some other stuff, cut it all up, tied it all up, chucked it in the frame. And then the funny part was getting it in this tree. And at first you might've been able to hear when that big tree cracked. Oh! It was actually a little branch cracking up here, but I thought the whole branch cracked. And I was like, no, this will work for nothing. We got it done and take a look at that. But yeah, um, I think this is me signing off for now. I might catch you guys in the morning or something. I'll see you then, if I'm alive. And don't get eaten by wild dogs. All right, so it's the next morning. It wasn't very good sleep last night, to be honest. I think it even started raining at one point, which is why my hair's a bit wet, but we were pretty undercover, which is all right. So um, I did get a couple hours of sleep, but the thing was, um, for the past like three days, I've gotten like eight hours of sleep all up. So of course, now's the time where I decide to make a primitive hut and go out into the wild and everything. But 
it was pretty good it was an awesome experience and it was really cool to make this hut i'm going to keep it up here and what i'm thinking of doing is even adding more bamboo to it and making a primitive raft out of it and maybe trying to catch a fish off of it or something but yeah who knows we'll see what happens but yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video make sure you leave a like comment down below and subscribe just by clicking that big red button down there and clicking the bell button beside it and if you like this kind of stuff make sure you go check out my instagram account facebook and snapchat so yeah thank you so much for watching i'm gonna keep chilling on this hut for now but i'll see you again in the next adventure